Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The residents of Perkins Branch in the Jeremiah community in Letcher County have found themselves in an all too familiar predicament. For the second time this month, a washout has stranded them in their community. We're back in the same boat. <laughs> we need a boat. <laughs> After a day of steady rain and snow, the temporary low water crossing at Perkins Branch washed out Saturday night. The washout once again stranded more than two dozen families in the hollow just off Kentucky Route 7, just as a washout had on March 7th when the community's only bridge collapsed due to flood damage. Residents say the new washout occurred between 9 and 10 p.m. Saturday evening. The washout was not unexpected. When we came down yesterday morning, there was some, there was some debris behind the, the covers that were left. So we don't know if that's what caused it, but it, it looks like it may have been some of the cause. The water was running fine, and we thought that it was going to do good, but apparently some debris had got behind the culverts and stopped it up, and it just flooded up and washed it out. We expected it. We knew it was going to happen, and they told us to be prepared that it was a possibility. So I didn't expect it this quick. Uh, at some point, I expected uh, uh, you know the culverts uh, to uh, to have some problems. Uh, we did have cables run through the culverts, uh, but it broke. Uh, the cable come loose some way, broke the cable, I'm not sure. So that let, when it washed all the material off top of the covers, it let them float down the creek. Letcher County road crews worked Sunday and Monday to get the temporary passage across Rockhouse Creek rebuilt. Letcher Judge Executive Jim Ward said he hoped the reconstruction would be complete Monday evening. You know, sometime this afternoon, uh, toward dark, we should uh, be finished to have the covers back in and have the people in and out. This weekend's washout is the latest development for the residents of Perkins Branch. After the March 7th washout, crews got the temporary crossing completed in about three days. On March 12th, the Kentucky National Guard delivered a bridge to the mouth of Perkins Branch. But after learning that only emergency vehicles and not the residents of Perkins Branch could use the bridge, and that an armed guard would have to be stationed at the bridge to guard against civilian traffic, the county declined to utilize the military-style bridge. And I asked him, I said, well, what if the culverts wash out? Would the public be able to use that bridge? And they told me, no, they would not be able to use it at all. So even if we'd had the bridge in that the National Guard had brought, they still wouldn't, they'd still been stranded. They still wouldn't have been able to cross the bridge. But while frustrated, the residents of Perkins Branch are taking this latest hit in stride. It's frustrating, but there's no need getting mad at anybody or blaming anybody. I mean, it was rain, it flooded. Like I said, we knew it was going to happen. It is what it is. They're, they're trying their best to help us, and we're, we just appreciate what they're trying to do for us. You know, God's still in control, and we, we, uh, we just take the good with the bad. Ward said with more rain forecast for this coming week, he plans to closely monitor the condition of Rockhouse Creek and continue searching for a permanent solution to the situation. At Perkins Branch, Chris Anderson, EKB News.